Hi, I'm Marcus and I'm a shakuhachi player, but I'm also a taiko player. So you can imagine that I was very excited when I heard that Roland was producing an electronic taiko. They call it the Taiko One, and it's an electronic katsugi. Um, they developed this in collaboration with Kodo, the famous taiko drumming group from Japan. Um, unfortunately, it looked like it wouldn't be available in Europe, so I was quite disappointed. Um, but then I just found out that you can actually get it here in Europe as well. Um, and so, of course, I have to try this. I've never made an unboxing video, um, but I thought it might be interesting for other taiko players as well to see um, what's in the box, how it looks, um, and yeah, what you, what you can expect from it. Um, so I have the box here. Uh, still completely unopened, so um, I'm gonna open this and um, yeah, of course, feel free to, to fast forward to the interesting bits. Um, let's see how this goes. Okay. Oh, I think I'll actually make some space over there and, and, and open it over there. So, see you soon. So, here we go. Oh. This side open, please. My Japanese is good enough for that. Power. Instructions, we definitely need those. Okay, what's this? Ah, looks like Connection accessories, okay. And, ah, yeah. This would be the connection. This here. The controller. Controller. Nice. The actual pads, I'm assuming. Controller. Okay, so those are all the parts. I'm pretty sure everything is there. Um, I have to just try to assemble it. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's see what the instructions say. This could take a while, but you know how to fast forward.
Okay, first part seems to be done. Now let's try if we can fix the second head. So it takes quite um, a bit of force to tighten these screws um, and I'm a bit reluctant because obviously I don't want to break anything. Um, but yeah, I'll try to, to tighten them on the other side as well a bit more I think so it doesn't fall apart. Right okay, so I think that looks alright. now. Next step, I guess the controller, let's see. Okay, sorry, the car was just full, uh, the camera car was just full, so um, a little break. Um, yeah, so I think this worked. Um, pulling these rubber bands to fix the controller, or it's apparently called the sound module, um, to, the, to the heads is a bit scary, um, but nothing broke so far, so let's hope this is correct. Okay, onwards. Okay, so heads connected to the sound module. Um, as you could see, I had to look a bit for the uh, trigger out connector on the pad. Um, it's just on the ring. It's just not very obvious where it is, but it's there. Okay, so next seems to be the power connection. Let's see. Okay, so it took me a while to figure this out. <laughs> it's not really that difficult though. Um, uh, there are two outputs. One seems to be a line output uh, that you can connect to a speaker directly. Uh, the other one is a headphone output um, and because um, I could find a cable for the headphone output, I connected the headphone output to my, to my system. Um, let's see if it works. So I guess the next thing is to switch it on. Turn it on. It's coming on, very nice. 
Roland Tatsugi one. Great. Okay, so let's get some bachi. Um, they say just use any uh, Katsugi bachi you can buy in any ta taiko store. Um, and of course there is a taiko store at every street corner here in Europe, but anyway, you know where to get Katsugi bachi if you're watching this video, I'm sure. So um, let's try. Right, okay, so it works. <laughs> um, of course, I'll have to figure out how to really use it. Um, I have to find the strap, um, I have to get some batteries and all that stuff. And maybe play with headphones because I think it's a bit impractical playing via the speakers. But anyway, so this is unboxed and assembled. <laughs> so I hope you find this useful. Um, yeah, I'll probably make another video, which may be a bit more interesting, um, that actually tells you um, what you can do with this instrument, because it's not really about the assembling, um, it's about playing this thing. Right, okay, so thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like this kind of video, uh, please leave a comment, uh, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel um, if you like this, um, and I hope to see you soon.